every second Sunday here on Channel 10. We show some logo talent then it's called the bandwagon. Where people try to do their best, something right from the heart. With so much talent in our town, more people should take heart. Well, if you were raised, I'm gonna make fun of you. There's one thing don't forget. To anyone that makes fun, we haven't seen them in here yet. Is hosted by yours truly, and was loved by one and all. We in our shows up in the spring, and we start them in the fall. So join us on the bandwagon. Here on Channel 10 And sit back on next Sunday night And wait for it to begin The first time is the worst time But please come back again And help us entertain our friends On our show, The Bandwagon Yes, help us entertain our friends On our show, The Bandwagon Welcome to the bandwagon once again. I'm going to start off with a little sign called the Birch Barrett Canoe. And I'm going to do that sign for Fred Donnelly, Freeman Triplin, and Steve Lushman. Them three gentlemen asked me to do that sign for them over the last four or five months. So here it is. The Birch Barrett Canoe. And in the end, sell out in his Coleman's Canoe. He sang as he sailed over the water so blue. He sang of the days when the land was their own. Before the pale faces the mom never were known. At first when the white man they came to our land. We treated them like brothers, we lent them a hand. We knew they were weary and wanted to be cold. Never thinking the white man would ever be our goal. For a while we were happy with friends all around. We showed them the best of our own hunting ground. They paid us in trinkets with fleas for a while. And caused the poor Indians like children to smile. But soon they began to impose on our their numbers increased and they drove us to fly. They drove us away from our own happy shores. And the smoke of our campfire will rise there no more. They built their large cities all over our land. And on the rich prairies their firm houses stand. They own all the country from Texas to Maine. They seek for their way on to fame. Oh, the pride of the forest that over us bowed. The tall pine cedars, oh, where are they now? The otter, the beaver, the hunter have slain. And have driven the reindeer far over the plain. Oh, the graves are far Children have wandered distracted and cold, and the graves of our forefathers still visit no more. For a while we will linger around this sassy place. Our wives and our sweethearts, we do them embrace. Now the great spirit calls us away from all pain to some bright happy land. Sound for now. Got him to do a sign called Peaceful Easy Feeling.
I'm gonna do a sign for us now called the Blue Nose. Anyone wants to request a sign to Gerald Berger, Inspiration Road. Take it down, Gerald. God love you. <clears throat> My father was a blue nose and his dad true and true. My mother, she's a blue nose and her mother's mother too. We live in Nova Scotia where the sea and sky are blue. And when they call us blue nose, we're God ain't proud to do. From Sydney to the Yarmouth, down at all points in between. It's such a magic picture book the like you've never seen. And the pioneer who settled here and gave this land a name. If they were called blue nose, I want to be called the same. For we turned the wheel of industry before the days of oil. The Nova Scotia miner gave the world as precious coal. They built the fastest sailing ship that ever sailed to sea. And if that was called Blue Nose, it's good enough for me. Yeah, my father was a Blue Nose, and his dad true and true. My mother, she's a Blue Nose, and her mother's mother too. We live in Nova Scotia, where the sea and sky are blue. And when they call us Blue Nose, we're God ain't proud to do. Now you might work in Halifax or make a bit of steel, but there's a bond between us all we understand and feel. And then we have our brothers who went off to fight the war. If they were called Blue Nose, could we be something more? going to do a sign for us now. A little sign called Closing Down the Fish Plants. Because it's only closed hours. It's true. <laughs> Something did inside of us, I'm not sure who's to blame. But I know we're helpless victims, and our lives won't be the same. I'm gonna sell my motorboat, she's no good anymore. And the wife and I will have to move away. The Caitlin no longer. 
Nu tijdje ik een nieuw zaal voor het nou. Een little zaal called The Tiny Relay. Put a light in the window, my darling, she said. As she gazed at the dark stormy night overhead. The little girl ran with her eager delight. As she placed in Red dresses. She 
another little sign. Now, let me do a sign for Sam Belger. This is a Sam sign. A little sign called When the Robins Come Home. If you just after Christmas, I remember to hear a boy and a sweetheart sat there on a beer. Tomorrow he's leaving for over the phone. He said, I'll be back when the Robins come home. Now I called her father didn't like me anyway. Or didn't like me, yeah. <laughs>
sign for it now called All of Shame. Take her away. Man, okay. <laughs> Should they ever build a hall of shame for those who can't be true? Someone should give them your name to see what they can do. To play should they're among the rest who have cheated in love. Another little sign called No Facts Newfie. The only old Facts Newfie I know is like. There's a whister on the open the door. He's down the stage bed to skim on the shore. It's four in the morning, he's barely awake. And he lights up the pipe while he crosses the plate. His old weight at the landing, she's worn as a soul. But he loves her so much, he can't let her go. The fish are swarming out there on the ground. But with that bruise and cape, then we should load her down. He's an old fashioned newbie and fishing's his life. He loves the salt water on brew and his wife. Sometimes he acts crazy and a little bit strange. He's an old fashioned newbie and he'll never change. His hands are all blistered from the guy chicken line. And the hose in his oilskin are sold off with wine. And the fire in the galley is all but burned out. And he curses on the winds as his gift swings the bell. Tomorrow's his birthday, he'll be 65. A time for retirement is finally arrived. He fills up his belly with fisherman's bruise. His trolls are all faded, it's time for a smooth. He dreams of a cabin in some peaceful boat. With the leggies are roasting on the water to stove. And the bag is chewing the sweet as can be. It goes with the moonshine he drinks in his tea. He's an old fashioned newbie and fishing's his life. He loves the salt water, homebrew, and his wife. Sometimes he acts crazy and a little bit strange. He's an old fashioned newbie and he'll never change. He's an old fashioned yeah, we got John and I here now. We'll do a little song called Poplar Bluff. Poplar Bluff? Poplar. Poplar. 
clever dude. We never had parents here. And what old and me dad. And daddy's morning coffee came from old leftover ground. My mama wore no jewelry or any store bought stuff. And home was on a hillside, 40 miles from Bobber Bluff. 40 miles back in Missouri, there's a different way of life. Where a man thinks of his neighbors and not his neighbor's wife. While well, I had was fire and fancy and sometimes mighty wrong. But contentment made it worth it, 40 miles from Bobber Bluff. Our only family stranger was a beat up radio. And it took us to the places that we never will never go. We never had much money, but we always had enough. Cause money never mattered much. Forty miles from Poplar Law. Forty miles back in Missouri, there's a different way of life. Where a man thinks of his neighbor and not his neighbor's wife. God love her. <laughs> well, life was far from fancy and sometimes mighty wrong. But could have to made it worth it. Forty miles from Poplar Glow. Well, nearly every winter when the snow was on the ground and the roads were always closed. And we couldn't get to town. But well, Daddy had his tobacco. My and grandma had her snow. Then the winter never seems a lot. Forty miles from Bobber Love. Forty miles back in Missouri, there's a different way of life. Where a man thinks of his neighbor and not his neighbor's wife. Well, was far from fancy, and was sometimes mighty wrong, but contentment made it worth it, 40 miles from Poplar Bluff, 40 miles from Poplar Bluff. Hey! A few requests, no? Not very many. Birthday greetings to Matthew Young, who celebrated his first birthday on the February the 13th, that's from Mom, Dad, Nanny and Poppy Han, and Nan and Poppy Youngs. And birthday greetings to John Anderson, celebrated his birthday February the 14th, from a special friend at Virgil. 20th, 20th anniversary greetings to Jim and Edith Marsden, that's from Ellen and Garfield, that's on the 29th of January. Birthday greetings to Tanya Marsden, celebrated her 21st birthday on the 7th of February. Birthday greetings to Gladys Keynes, that's from Godmother. Birthday, birthday greetings to Gladys Ingram, that's from all the family. Birthday greetings to Mandy Morris, and that's from all of us at BBS. Birthday greetings to Karen Parson, celebrating her birthday on February 16th. Congratulations to Louise Anderson and Kelvin Billard, who got engaged December 11th, that's from Cavell and Natasha. Birthday greetings to Ella Courtney, who celebrates her birthday on the 22nd of February. That's from Jim, Edith, Ellen, and Garfield. And birthday greetings to Cheryl McDonald Sr., who celebrates his birthday on the 22nd of February. That's from Jim, Edith, Ellen, and Garfield. And we got birthday greetings to Shauna Harris, who celebrated her 15th birthday on the 29th of January. That's from Mom and Dad and Sister Michelle. And we got birthday greetings to Tanya Marsden, who celebrated her 21st birthday on the 7th of February. That's from all of her friends, Mom, Dad, Three Sisters, TJ, Tyler, and Nicole. And anniversary greetings to Jack and Beat Roseanne, who will celebrate their 31st wedding anniversary on the 21st of February. That's from Ellis, Mike, a special greetings from Matthew. And now the girls right here, damn boys. This is for the boys, eh? Happy Valentine's Day to all you sweethearts. <laughs> That's from all the girls, that advice. Oh, the top of sweethearts, that's an old story, huh? Right, boss. See, this fellow brought Ed into the paper one time, eh? He's looking for a girl, or a wife, whatever he wants. He was looking for a partner, anyway. So he put his head in the paper, eh? Wanted. One female. Age 18 to 35. Gotta be able to cook, sew, wash dishes, do laundry, clean the house, 
Shovel of snow. Must have her own boat and Indian. Please send a picture of boat and Indian. <laughs> well, that's all, that's it. That's all request. Be back in a few seconds. A little sign called Wonderful Tonight. And he wants to dedicate it to Lisa. Who's Lisa? Girlfriend. Ah. I thought it was. I think we're going to do another sign for us now. A little sign called, I Fight the Law. The Law of One. <laughs> called Pete and Dan? Over time, took a look. <laughs> well, anyway, Mac, you want to do a sign for now called Cuddly Seals. I look out my window, what 
So we got John back with us again now. John will do his little sign call from brown to blue. Brown to blue. Blue to blue. Yeah. <laughs> oh, his shirt went went from brown to black. <laughs> well, he went from brown to blue. Dwayne Jackson. Yeah. We stood there in the courtroom, so close.
Yeah, we got Gary on back with us again. Now we're going to do a song called Old Flames. I think I'm going to do a song for another old song called The Chattahoochee. We come to the last of the show for tonight. Hope you enjoyed it. Ended off a little sign called Double Daily Savings Time. Look at that twisty ear. <laughs> Too bad they had to give it up. <laughs> really enjoyed it. <laughs> anyway, Double Daily Savings Time. Ending good last. Too good last. 
Thank you.